kind of my experimental design was that I was maintaining multiple Drosophila populations, but I was testing old populations at um, 18 days after hatching, and usually young populations four days after hatching. I was also testing if there was any differences in males and females, and the treated diet, or the one millimolar manganese, versus the controlled diet. And so here's an actual uh, video of my, okay. It was up here. <laughs> So you see here, I had to put the flies all at the bottom so I knew they were starting at the same starting point to make sure that there was no, um, there wasn't a fly that got a head start or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so the purpose of doing it in 10 seconds was that Parkinson's disease patients exhibit that bradykinesia, which is that slowness of movement. So if flies could reach the top in maybe 30 seconds rather than 10 seconds, that might uh, point to an adverse neurological effect. And so as you see here, that was only one vial that I did. So I took that one vial and I performed it five times. And so by the, by the end um, of yesterday, I performed this <laughs> assay 220 times. <laughs> And so some, here are some actual pictures of my Drosophila in the laboratory. And so I was maintaining around 20 to 40 vials daily, and I even made up to 77 vials. So the data analysis and the results were I wanted to look and compare the means. And so if I direct your attention towards the means with diet and gender, there did not seem to be a big um, difference. However, with age, there did seem to be a difference, so I wanted to dive in and look in that further. And so with my data analysis here, I performed an analysis of variables.